now we're, we're going to transition into setting up our um, spinning back kick and spinning heel kick, uh, which is definitely not my forte. So um, I'm, I'm going I'm to take it to to you and let you uh, kind of demo when is it safe to do that and um, the ways to set it up. But uh, it's all the same setup, which is off the feint and getting me drifting to the right. And it's all, it's all about um, the range and, and making sure that I am um, going the way that you want me to. So that, um, yeah, we're gonna put a feint behind, sorry, in front of, in front of um, the setup. So just one of the, the four feints that we just went over, um, hand feint, hand foot feint, back, back foot feint, or um, the back, uh, backhand feint. And um, that's just gonna get me, I guess, reacting the way that I want to. And ideally, you want my hands to be getting ready to take um, either a heat kick or, or a punch, which leaves my body wide open. So that means you can um, execute that, that spinning back kick. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go, just go slow. We're gonna go set up the feint, get me drifting. So right exactly where you want me to be. Um, you want me kind of moving on the, or you want to be uh, throwing the kick as I'm moving into it, so that will maximise connection. So again, we set up the feint as I'm drifting, boom, right down the middle. What I want to do it for this, just a bit more efficient kick, and if I throw the right hand, it's going to make it more difficult to do the spin kick, so I've got more to wrench, so it's more telegraphed, yeah. harder to keep in tight. So more than likely, you're going to do more for your jab, and also you can kind of set up your foot at the same time, so you can get the line alignment. Yeah. The jab is um, a great way to uh, mask any kind of footwork. So if you're going to try step across, you got to put it behind something. Otherwise, there's nothing stopping me from looking at your feet and then just abandoning everything because I know something's coming. So mm -hmm. you got to keep keep them guessing and keep them, um, them occupied while you're trying to set something up. There you go. There you go. See, so you do the back kick a couple of times, exactly, exactly. like you've done then. Exactly. And then you yeah. prepare for the back kick and then you can pull off the hook. Yeah, it all works together, yeah. all of the stuff. It, um, yeah, it's, it's all intertwined. So if something's not working or something's connecting, then mix it up and go to something else and then you can come back to it. That's usually how you know this whole game works. Yeah. Um, so yeah, sit, uh, explain how you're setting up that, that um, heel kick. Yeah, so kind of half step and pretending on your jab. Sometimes I'll fully extend the jab if he's still there. If he's not, I kind of just half it. He's, and as he's moving, all I'm thinking of, I've kind of got that foot, I get that alignment. If he's close, the good thing about the back kick is obviously I can still hit him. Even if he bridges the gap a little bit and he's here, I can still come under and hit him. Whereas if I fully commit to like a spin hook kick, if he bridges the gap and actually comes in close now, it goes around and he's got me. So the back kick is a safer option, but obviously in terms of range, if he moves further back or he keeps the distance, then the hook kick can be a bit of a get-out clause as well. Yeah, definitely. Especially for MMA. Um, and if they're too far, pull the kick, don't do the kick. Yeah, exactly. Um, especially for MMA, that spinning back kick is definitely the safer option yeah. because you can wrestle, so, if I am coming in, yeah, I definitely want to get back. caught by this guy <laughs> in that position. <laughs> <laughs> if I, uh, man, I don't want to be getting caught yet with any kicks that you're throwing. Um, if I'm coming in for a back take, I could. If the higher you chamber means that that kick will still land as I'm trying to bridge the gap for a, um, like a bear hug or or um, some sort of takedown. So the safer option is definitely the spinning back kick. Yep. But more stuff if you have more space and you and you're aware of the distance. Um, then that heel, heel kick is definitely there for uh, Or if you keep drawing the back uh, kick and he's scared of the back kick, then the hook kick, he leaves his head open for the hook exactly. kick. But yeah, um, key point for the, the back kick is when, when you're doing it, just keep this foot nice and tight to your other leg, and that way then he'll come under. If it comes around, you end up with the same problem. So if you bridge the gap a little bit, if I let this knee come out for the back kick, it becomes more of a spin inside kick, and he'll miss. Whereas if I keep it in tight, even, even, if, he's, even if he's right by right here, and he's just about to grab me, he can come under and save you. If I bridge, that's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, um, and then go, going over the, the, the hill kick, um, as I'm drifting, that's when you're low. 
Yeah, I'm walking into there. Yeah, exactly. So I use this jab to make your movement go across. I probably extend it just to give a big sell as well. <laughs> Straight into the spin. And that just depends on distance range. You kind of just got to feel it and understand it. I think more Taekwondo guys will understand, obviously, that sort of thing. A bit more risky, obviously, in MMA to do some of the spin kicks. But the back kick is you know, it's quite a decent one to do. Definitely. Because also, if you're compromising the position, is it, if you're like in this position when you've landed something, or even if it's like around the four and you're here, exactly, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good move to get out of actually a bad situation that you could put yourself in. Definitely. And then if you're on the cage or, or against the wall and you see them, Going bit, uh, just about to hit it, it's definitely a good move. Once they bounce off the cage, and then that's when you're landing those, those yeah, heavy you can't escape it. No, you're yeah. just walking straight into it. So, yeah, just a few different options off the feint um, and, and then going back to it as well. So, once you've landed something, don't, don't just forget about it. We're going to set it up with something else and then come back to it later on, and then that's when it'll be more effective when they're not expecting it. Um, because a lot of the times people will, will adapt and adjust um, as the fight progress. Um, Use that to your advantage, that's what Kai's saying. <laughs> so like if I was doing back kick a couple of times, then he's, he's, make, he's making sure he's covering the back kick because he's fearful of it. And then I change the hook kick, sucker him into my game. Exactly. And he'd do the same, like you were saying, with the, the right hand and then changing it to the, the left uh, kick to the, the liver yeah, or, exactly. or the ribs. So it all works together and um, yeah, give it a try. It's uh, one of those things, you've got to sell the feint though. If, you, if you're not going to sell it, then he's, he's not going to buy it. So it's one of those things that you've got to make it look exactly like you would if you're really throwing the punch. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's going to get them hesitating the way, or the usual way they would um, in a fight situation. If, if you're not, that's, that's why you're tight with that left kick as well, because obviously if you, if you do this, then it's going to be the exactly. right way as well. So you, you're treating it the same heat, and it just can come up from nowhere before it's actually like step or Everything has to look the same. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, um, they don't buy it. It's not going to work, and, and they're not going to be moving the way that we want them to. Um, and then it, the angles won't be the right. It won't be the same. So, yeah, it's just about setting it up the right way. But um, also making sure that when you are throwing stuff, everything's nice and tight because you don't want to be leaving yourself open um, and getting counted at the same time. Because we're doing all this work to set mm. things up, and if our fundamentals aren't right, where our hand placement isn't where it should be when we're coming in, our head's not offline. Um, then we kind of come off second best if, if things don't work out. Um, but if, if, if we do, let's say, miss or, or um, throw the punch short, um, mm. we're not out of position. We can reset straight away and then set something up again. So it's just about making sure that these things are, um, are protected and, and the fundamentals are there behind all the fancy stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I think uh, just lastly, we'll, we'll point... Uh, the only thing that you might change when you get to an elite level, obviously you're very tight, but you might deliberately open something to draw them in to your next counter. So you're drawing their counter to counter their counter. Exactly. They're complex, but that's how it gets obviously at the elite level, you're playing chess basically. Yeah. You've got to be two steps ahead. <laughs> exactly. All right, so thanks for sharing your expert knowledge today. Really appreciate it, brother. Thanks, bro. It was awesome. Um, you've got a big fight coming up. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so my next fight is, um, Few weeks away um, in my hometown Auckland fighting on the uh, UFC Auckland fight night um, first time fighting back home in about three years so um, it's gonna be a great reception for my friends and family mm -hmm. fighting um, you know in my own backyard it's always been on my bucket list to, to put a show on it in the UFC in my hometown so he's gonna smash it no, <laughs> no, no pressure no, no pressure, pressure no. <laughs> so, no, it's gonna be amazing having three guys from my gym on the same card um, being back and you know and where it all started uh, at the stadium's just down the road from my house so uh, it's going to be a yeah, special night yeah. awesome right so thanks again and um, i hope you enjoyed the video guys um thank you all for your support team gnt